Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Ladies and germs, welcome, welcome, welcome to Dual Town Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dual Town Paul, we go on Wikipedia. We click a random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. Hey, did you know that you can support us on Patreon? I didn't. Where do, where do you go to do You're that? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can go to patreon.org. Fuck. <laughs> patreon.com slash arcade audio. Slash one shot. And... Um, <laughs> And you can just drop us a few bones, yeah. and we'll uh, we've got some great bonus content. There's some merch. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get a postcard on your birthday for two dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if yeah. your birthday's already passed, then we'll send it to you for Christmas or ho- whatever. Yeah, for, for, the, hol- for the holidays. Or, yeah. Um, Ooh, if if your birthday's already passed and you want us to send it to you on a specific holiday, oh. like a ho- Halloween postcard. Which is our Christmas? That is our Christmas. Yeah, that's the devil's Christmas. <laughs> the devil's Whoa, Christmas. is that a? Th- uh, we need to make it a thing. The yeah, devil's fuck Christmas. Devil's that's Christmas. That's tight as fuck, dude. Um, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. The devil's Christmas. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that sounds so cool. That sounds cool as hell. Yeah, <laughs> that's very cool. <laughs> I was taking us this long to come Holy up to, to string those shit. two words together. Like our two favorite things. Yeah, seriously. Holy shit! Oh, man. The devil's Christmas. I yeah, I kind of just want to like explore that space. I know. Yeah, like, um, it reminds because like you know people say the devil's lettuce. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Which what is that? Is that pot? We, yeah. Okay. Um, that that and jazz cigarettes are my two favorite. <laughs> They're like, both very good. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, the devil's devil's Christmas. Oh wow, that's so good. I feel like he doesn't give you presents. You have to give him sacrifices, or else. Yeah. Exactly. Fuck. God dang it. Anyway, yeah, check out Patreon, um, and we, we'd appreciate it. We, w- we sure would appreciate it. Um, one more thing. Do mm. I uh, do I look different to you? No. You're right. <laughs> but next time you see me, I will. Really? Yeah. Are you going to get a new tattoo? No. Are you going to get a, a self-tan? Uh, well, I mean, every day I'm outside, I'm self-tanning. <laughs> True. Um, no, I, tomorrow, am being interviewed for... TSA Global Entry. <laughs> so so next time I see, I, so next time you see me, you won't see me because I'll already be through security. Right, right, yeah. And I am so stoked. Wow. So you're gonna get a microchip installed? Yeah, yeah. So then the government can never lose me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm so excited. Do you have to go? Where do you go to do that? Do you have to go to the airport? Um, you can go to the airport, or there's like an office downtown that you can go to. Oh, so that's I, can I'm, can you go to the office downtown and would you have? To get the paperwork started, do I need to go to the airport first? No. You do everything Ooh. online. And oh, then wow. once once you are conditionally approved, like mm-hmm. they do like a huge background check and stuff. Wow. Um, then they're like, hey, you've been conditionally approved. Now you need to come in for your interview and bring these documents. Oh, I need you to like tell me everything that they ask you. Uh, apparently, because Jessica's already gotten hers and it's just like you need a proof of uh, you, you need like your ID, your passport and uh, proof of residency. And like that's it's easy. It. It's not even really an interview because they've already done oh. the background check. So they don't ask you anything like, "Do you have anything to declare? Are you bringing any vegetables into the country?" Like, uh, I've been here. <laughs> yeah. What? I got some sour patch kids Just in my backpack. The question. Mm. Um, no, apparently there's like no. Oh. So, okay. but but the the one like thing. It's all fucking bullshit, dude. Well, yeah, but I get to cut the line, so it's just like more fucking. It's America's like, fast pass, God, baby, dude. It's it's uh, it's just another way to get fucking money out of you. And guess what? I'm going to do it too because like the convenience is like so useful. Um, and so fucking when you when you pay when security you, theater. Sure. I don't, hey, let's me cut the line. <laughs> the line shouldn't be there. All right. Take your shoes off. Put your. Oh, you have a laptop. Throw it away. Finish uh, that water or die. Okay, Patrick Walburton. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, cut the monkey business. <laughs> um, How old are you? 65 keep the jacket on but the one the one way that they can really stick it to you mm-hmm. is you got to pay the money up front and if you fail the background <laughs> check you don't get it See, back that's fuck this country dude um God damn it. i wonder if other countries have like similar things because no they don't well any any time that i have gone abroad the security is identical coming back really pretty not, much not for me how long hey, ago did you travel uh after 9 11 uh, I can pick, I, in 2007 uh, I went to Costa Rica when I came back it was like yeah you're good um because since then there have been like the sh- that shoe bomber and the the underwear bomber and all that like there have been more Did that happen in high school? 
pretty sure it happened in high school. Did dog. it? Yeah, it's been a long time. Jesus. Yeah, what? that happened in like 2002 or three or something like. One of them happened later. Sure. Well, uh, I, I, any, anywhere in Europe that I've gone, it's yeah. been it's been similar. Okay. Um, I I don't remember if you needed to take your shoes off or not, but you definitely need to like take a bunch of shit out of your bag and, that shit's and like so fucking wild. It, it it takes a long time. It anywhere that I have gone, it has taken a long time sure. to come back. Cool. Um. So. I don't know. Whatever. It's all. It's all bogus. It's all super bogus. Um. Well, don't let them hear you say that in the interview. Also, <laughs> that's true. Oh, I love America, USA, USA. For the um, and this episode will air after I already got it. So, um, <laughs> that's good. They can't. Yeah. Can they retroactively remove it once they hear this podcast? I mean, well, they'll just throw me in a camp. That's true. Yeah. Um, the other, the 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 other thing is to. To fill out all the information for the background check You have to which is common for background checks You have to do like your last either five or Ten years of employment and residency So God. like Which thankfully I you know Had just started a new job like about a year ago And I needed to go through an extensive background check For that so, so I already had all the info Damn that's useful but it was a pain In the ass to get a year ago Because a, f- a few of the places I worked like Like movie stop Doesn't exist anymore <laughs> so I had to like Go all these different ways to like figure out how that how someone could like verify my employment. It was crazy. You know what? I bet that shit doesn't even matter. I bet that's just like hoops to jump through. Um. Well, I think more what it is is like to like, to, to make sure you're not lying. That's what I'm it's saying. Like, I bet like, if you just get close, that's good enough. Yeah. You know. Um. It, it's more to match up like what you say versus what they find. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I've got a uh, firearms permit. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. It does the opposite of let me go into the fast pass lane. <laughs> <laughs> um, you going to get a firearm? I, I've been tossing idea around here and there. Well, um, don't do... Just keep get, the holster, pal. Da, 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 uh, if I do, it's going to be like a, a revolver. Like nothing... Revolver nothing with like, lot. A revolver hustle lot. Nothing with like, you know, a lot of moving pieces or things I need to like keep, sure. you know, like maintained or whatever. Um, just like... It's just... It, there it is. It's in a... I guess I need to get like some sort of lockbox or something, but... Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess um, but they, I don't need to be upsold. You forgot the face of your father, my friend. <laughs> yes, I don't know. That's that's all very. I mean, that's just. Yeah, who, who, I just wanted the permit. Sure. So I can go to Walmart and get one if I want. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's very crazy. Um, you want to get an article? Yeah, let's do it. It's about time. <laughs> Okay. Hampton Down Stone Circle. Okay, this has got to be in England, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course. And it's, um, probably, it's probably not even something ancient. It's probably some new, just like stupid English thing. The Hampton Down Stone Circle. It's, oh, it's probably like a, like a convenience store or something, you know? It's like a, it's like a Tesco. Is a stone circle. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> in Hampton Down. <laughs> Located near the village of Portisham in the southwestern England uh, county of Dorset <laughs> Archaeologists believe that it was likely Erected during the Bronze Age The Hampton Down is part of a tradition of stone circle Construction that spread throughout much of Britain Ireland and Brittany during the late Neolithic and early Bronze Age over a period Between 3300 and 900 BCE Nice. Oh, that's, the purpose wow that's really interesting What? The, you said, said 3300 BCE? Mm-hmm. That's like a long time ago Yeah like I mean granted it's not that long ago Where like it's not like caveman times or whatever But like I don't know. That's so interesting that there were like weird like druids or whatever like sure. constructing weird re- religious ceremonies or not necessarily in this case, but maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, some kind of weird astrological shit. Like that's so interesting to me. Like, how do people come up with that stuff? You know, like they who just fucking made it up, just like anything else. That, yeah, for sure. But like, it, it, unless they got lucky, isn't Stonehenge like doesn't it like correlate with like you know the, the yeah, which sure is figured it out. That's crazy. Yeah. Like who the fuck invented like a compass or like an astrolabe or you know what I mean? Like that shit's so crazy. I don't know. Yeah. People smarter than us. But even like back then, like, can you, I, I don't even think I could come up with like this stone circle perfectly mirrors, you know, Jupiter. Like what? Sure. It's amazing. Well, it's how many steps off from like a, a sundial is that, you know, that's pretty crazy too. I guess you only, you, you don't need like a society of smart people. You just need like one guy who kind of got <clears throat> a hint from someone else who did some other work earlier. Well, but, but think, think about a sundial though. Cause, cause really it doesn't tell time 
No. We've we've added the layer of time onto it. Sure. It, so we it, just put a stick into the ground and then saw where the shadow it, was. It tells the passage of time. Right, right. So, you know, when they when they made the first sundials, they weren't like, oh, it's 430. Right. They were like, the shadow's here. Right, right, right. Sure, sure. I gotcha. You know, so, so <laughs> it, you know, it's all just little baby steps. Little increments. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. It's still just very interesting to me that, that oh, for sure, for people sure. As, a, as a whole. I mean, fuck pyramids. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, those are aliens that did that. So fuck. I always yeah, forget. Can't forget that one. Um, but I mean, they, I mean, yeah. So that was sort of the jumping off point for the human race was like pyramids. Like, like shit just got crazy after that. Yeah. When we got the alien pyramid building technology. What if that's true, though? Well, shit, dude. They were why, they were building pyramids in in the damn uh, like Yucatan Peninsula. Mm-hmm. Like, like how? Why? Were, why was everyone in the world building these pyramids? Well, some you, you know, two dudes discovered calculus. Um. Well, oh, maybe I was gonna say evolution. That too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, ton, tons of stuff. It's like what's the word for that? Spontaneous uh, generation um, or something? Um, spontaneous sp- combustion. Spontaneous uh, abiogenesis. Um. <laughs> Spontaneous discovery, or that sounds something, good. Something like that. I like that spontaneous yeah. discovery. Yeah, like, or, or not that? spontaneous because that doesn't oh, make sense. Complicit, complicit discovery. <laughs> um, undercover <laughs> boss. Under, uh, <laughs> I think it's called undercover boss. <laughs> um, pro, duck dynasty. <laughs> what the fuck is it called? It's it's like. Ca- 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 Ice road truckers. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, but I know what you're talking about. There's a word for it. Maybe. I wonder if there's, it's like the world, man, like the incremental stuff, like like it's worldwide, it's incremental. And so Mm -hmm. some dude or whatever, some person I should say, is going to discover this next step. And it just so happened that it was a couple people at the same time. Like, Like it's. Like that person is the vessel for the next step. Did 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 were the Egyptian pyramids and the uh, South American or Mexican um, pyramids created around the same time? Yeah, I was wondering that too. I don't know. Or did I mean, or the did Egyptian they, pyramids were like three thousand BC for sure? Or did they happen sort of at similar stages in the progress of each society? Ooh, so it's like when a society's two thousand years old, we They're build pyramids. Gonna, I don't know why. Oh, I love that. Just like in a vacuum, every society does the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That's pro. Well, maybe in the case of pyramids, maybe that's a thing. But worldwide, probably. Whoop, I don't know. Because didn't uh, who invented? God, I always I always forget. I get all these things mixed up. Like in my head, China invented like everything, but it's like gunpowder well, for sure. Yeah, and like the crossbow. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the cross and the cross. They, like uh, Christianity came from China. Well, not the not the cross, but the stations of the cross. They certainly invented. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, they they invented a lot of shit. Yeah, and it was it just because like they were just older? Like that can't be right. Well, because li- didn't life start see, from like the Africa. Middle East, Africa? Sure. Um, it's it's weird because also in in history in um high school we did a class called like world history mm-hmm. east to west because sure. that's sort of the way that like culture and history flowed i guess which feels like a very um eurocentric way to look at it yeah because it like s- the seeds start in china the cool shit happens in <laughs> europe and then we got our shit together in the united states when really right. it was like Africa uh-huh. is where it started right, right. and then m- moved up into like Europe and Asia. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a, like while China was like doing cool shit, and making advances, this is all hypothetical. Maybe that's when like the dark ages were happening in Europe. So it kind of seems like maybe the, the technology and shit was advancing there when it could have been advancing too in Europe, but they fucked it up with Christianity. But, or but I mean, they just, you totally just skip Africa. Yeah, not, not I, you personally, I, right. but like I know, in, I know in history. Dick about Africa. There, I feel like a year or two ago, um, I read about this guy. Uh, uh, he's like a black author, and he wanted to make like a series of fantasy novels, mm. but based on like uh, African tradition, and because like all fantasy novels are basically like, like Scandinavian, Euro- European, or whatever. And, sc- and Scandinavian. Yeah, sure. Um, I heard about this guy too. Yeah, and I just remembered that, and I'm like, "Where's that dang book, dude?" Oh, so I'm saying, I love that shit, dude. I'm so down. Because it's stuff that I don't know anything yeah, it's, about. It's brand new stories. Like to this point, you've known the same twenty five stories your whole life. Like just because every story is the same. Yeah. When it's all coming from the same culture, or whatever. Does Africa have dragons? You know how like oh, Europe has dragons wow. and Asia has dragons. I don't know. I hope so. Because that'd be awesome. That'd be That's another one of those cool. pyramid things. Like every culture has its own dragon. Yes. I don't know. That's interesting. Well, and and like um like ancient um Mexican 
uh, people. Mm-hmm. They had like, I don't know if they had dragons, but they definitely had like big ass birds and shit. Like, oh, sure, like, like thunderbirds ke- or whatever. Ke- Quetzalcoatl or whatever. Oh, yes, very much. Which yeah, like is, the, the, wait, it's a serpent bird, right? It's ooh, like, is it? I it believe be. it's serpentine. God so damn it. So it's like a dragon. And is that the one that like brings the end of the world or something? Probably. God, it's so fucking tight, man. I want to know about African dragons. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm starting to learn a little bit more about like Japanese culture, and I'm like, where the fuck? Like all these, <laughs> fuck you. There's all these like stories and things, and like, yeah, totally. Like that I just have no, I've never I mean, heard. Y- 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 like, and like monsters and shit that I've never heard about. Like, oh, cool. In even in the United States, like, oh yeah, we got the uh, we got the Flatwoods beast out here. It's like you know, I've never fucking heard of that. Well, yeah, we, we've got or, you know like each yeah, region, yeah. each region of the U.S. even has their own like little. Well, monsters and, and spookums and whatnot. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, uh, what do you even call those things? Like uh, urban, not yeah, urban like, legends. Not urban like, legends, but yeah, like, yeah, folk tales or like tall yeah. tales or yeah, like local. I want to know about African dragons. I feel like I'm gonna look that up when when I'm done because <laughs> that I don't know. That'd be fucking tight. I, I would love to find out that everyone had their own dragon. I mean, uh, they, yeah. And what are their I guess that'd be the last big, like, big place. Yeah. yeah. What man? Where does that stuff come from? Like, just like imaginations, or does it come from? Is it all from dinosaur bones? <sighs> I mean, that's my guess. Is like, oh, and these it, bones are crazy. <laughs> Dragons, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, at some point, like, what was it? Like, this might not be it. This might be insane. Here we go. But mammoths were on the Earth at the same time as like the Aztecs. Yeah, I've seen the Flintstones. <laughs> And they helped them build the pyramids. And then they would turn to the camera and say, it's, it's a, a living. living. Yeah. Um, you might not be wrong. I feel like mammoths were around. Like while they're like, building the pyramids, maybe. Like 10,000 years ago. Which is still like pretty recent. Yesterday. I feel like that's around the same time that humans started uh, popping up. Yeah. I, I Yeah. 10,000 feels like the time we started doing like. Not even like recorded history, but well, maybe shit. I don't know. Not, not recorded history, but like evidence of people. Yeah. Like, like pottery or something. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, they weren't doing it to record history, but, like, we still fucking found it. <laughs> yeah, we got your ass. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's – there's just so many stories and – like, just so many cool stories that we just don't know about. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. We don't – there's no time in school to tell us about this stuff. This this has been, like, a theme, I feel like, for the past, Recently. like, ten episodes for us. It's yeah. just, like, what else don't we know? We're just hungry for knowledge right now, man. Yeah, and – but l- too lazy to <laughs> – to find it <laughs> And isn't that so ironic That like we're, the, the whole we're just baby boys And, <laughs> and we're so hungry But we can't make it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Our whole The whole premise of our podcast Is predicated on Looking at Wikipedia And, and like, we We can't do it To be fair We only read A sentence of this article <laughs> Yeah Yeah We kind of got off on a tangent I guess huh <laughs> Um What What did like Native Americans have this kind of shit, and we just totally fucked it up, and like got and like well, like yes, built over. It. I mean, what what I mean is yes, obviously, but I mean like lasting structures, like henges and stone circles and pyramids and whatever the fuck. Yeah, I I don't personally know. I mean, are totem poles real or is that made up? I don't know. I don't know either. That I, feels like um like there's probably one specific tribe that does it. Right. And then everyone's like, oh, they, they'll they do this thing. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> right. They all live in teepees and yeah, yeah. right, right. For I, sure. Um, also, I, again, I don't fucking know anything, but I think totem poles are more um, like Canadian and Alaskan. Ooh. Uh, in, like Native uh, Americans. Okay. Um, uh, indig- First Nation in, indigenous people. Indigenous folk. Um, but I, I could be wrong. It, that's what I remember from the Canada Pavilion at Epcot. <laughs> uh, is it the Hopi tribe that like they they did make giant pictures of like snakes that you were would only be visible from the air? You're thinking of the Nazca lines, is that, okay? Um, which I I don't believe are actually in the United States. I think they're in South America. Okay, and, still. That, um, yeah, they're fuck. They are like there's like spiders and monkeys and and like lizards and all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, but you can't see them unless you're like very high above the ground. So like, what were they doing? Like, did they have? Was there a structure at some point made out of wood? Maybe that burned down. I I've seen things where people are like, well, maybe they had hot air balloons. That was my first thought. Um, I mean, I which think like, that's is that crazy? Aliens too. Hot air balloons? N- no, it's just the lines. They were up in their ships and they're oh just like zapped them down. Yeah, that's for sure. What it is for sure. Yeah. 
it sucks that there's no true human culture. Yeah. Yeah. What's like what what's the equivalent of that like for for like animals like our pets? Like if we gave a dog like a if you give him a mouse a cookie. That yeah, we're the <laughs> What what are you what are you actually trying to ask? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's like when you like introduce a new thing to like a pet and they're like, "Oh, yeah, this is I do this now. I know how to do this thing." Um like, oh, like how we have to give uh our cat prescription wet food now and he um, cannot <laughs> control himself when he wants to eat. Yeah, that's in the ballpark. I don't know. It's sort of like, like a dog doesn't know how to make a ball, but all dogs like fucking love balls. So like when you give them a ball, they're like, yeah, of course I fucking love this ball. Like yeah, I play with this thing all the time. Is there is there an an evolutionary reason why dogs would like balls that we just like tapped into? Oh man, I mean aliens. Like why the fuck are we building pyramids? What humans don't like building pyramids? We love it. We love it. We've always been doing well, this. Well, we had all these slinkies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no stairs. This doesn't make any sense. Have you ever done a slinky downstairs? Uh, No, I never have. Because being in Florida, there wasn't. Well, That's true, yeah. Not a ton of ways to do it. Um, It's pretty rad. It's like, because it does that thing. It does it the does slinky thing. thing. And it's crazy. That's always one of the things where it's like, yeah, right. Like. And it does. Yeah. I mean, like, I, feel, I had one or two slinkies, but it's like I never got to use them. I was like, one day. Why the hell did I have a slinky? I don't know. I had, I had yeah, And I had some plastic ones, too, which is yeah, shitty. Yeah, don't work. Yeah. Um, You know what I want to get into? And I feel like we almost have gotten into this like eight times. Yo-yos. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still got a, a fireball, I think. Um, But that has an X brain, right? Uh, fireball have no, a brain? no, a fireball does not have a, b- having a, a brain, brain. Having a brain is cheating, I think. I think so, too. Also, yo-yos are the original fidget spinners, right? Yeah, very like, much Like, so. actually? Yeah, like, to the T. And also, based on the rate at which fidget spinners exploded, by the time this episode comes out, they're already old news. Yeah, you might just made a real shitty reference. Yeah. F- what's a fidget spinner? <laughs> the old man. Um, Yeah, I want to get... What, what yo-yo should I get? If if anyone has a yo yo recommendation, tweet at us at Dilettantball, D I L E T T A N T E B A L L hashtag yo yo yo. yo, yo. Um, I fe- I mean Duncan is like the you know the name that you that's hear, the name, you but maybe that's the around. bows of yo yos. You know, interesting. And you're trying to get the Sennheiser of yo yos, It's like yo mega. <laughs> yeah, like yo like yo play yo. <laughs> you want to get? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Who makes Fireball? Who makes who makes Brains and X-Brains? I, I don't know. Maybe that's all The Duncan. Omega was X-Brains for okay. sure. The Omega. Man, that's Fireball. I, I feel like as a kid I had a Butterfly, which was Duncan. Duh, I had, definitely Duncan. I had yeah. a Midnight Special, which was Duncan. And I feel like I had a Duncan Imperial. And I think the Imperial is like the classic. It goes down, it goes up. Yo-yo, yeah. I'm down with that. I But I want a yo-yo. We'll get you a yo-yo. Thank you. We'll go to the we'll go to the store and we'll let you pick out a toy for five dollars or less. I bet a yo yo is more than five dollars. Yeah, a good yo yo. A yep. good yo yo. Well, and I and the thing is, I don't need, I don't need some professional yo yo. I'm a prosumer, so you know, I'm not I'm not getting some cheap yo yo. I'm not getting a fancy yo yo. I want to be right there in the middle. Then maybe you do want the bows of yo yos. Maybe you, I do. Maybe you want a bows yo yos. Yo bows. A yo bows. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Just I. There's got to be someone who listens who's like into yo yos, right? Yeah, just for all kinds of weirdos that listen to us. <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> it's weird that SpongeBob is like a meme. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.